we will learn about Venn diagrams with easy examples. Are you ready? Let's go. What are Venn diagrams? Venn diagrams are the circles that overlap to show how things are same or different. Let's learn with a very simple example, okay? Let's take two circles, circle A, and let's fill all the animals that fly. For example, parrot, duck, seagull, bat. So this group is called group A or set A. And how do we represent a set? Using the curly brackets. So set A has parrot, duck, bat, and seagull. See how I have opened the curly brackets and then have closed it. Now let's do the same thing with circle B. Here, let's fill animals that can swim. For example, duck, seagull, turtle, and octopus. Now this becomes group B or set B. And remember how we used the curly brackets and we closed it? So what does the set B has now? It has duck, seagull, turtle, and octopus. So our both the circles have been filled. Circle A has all the animals that can fly and B has animals that can swim. So there are two concepts here, union and intersection. Union is represented by U. See how it looks? U. Union means all. Basically, it means everything from both the circles. So what is A union B? It's parrot, duck, turtle, bat, seagull, octopus. Intersection. See how I have represented the intersection symbol? So A intersection B means which are present in both of them. It's a common thing. The duck is common and the seagull is common. So A intersection B is duck and seagull. But what is this? Duck and seagull have gone in the center. The, the common things between A and B. So this means A has unique items. The parrot and bat which are the flying animals. And B has its unique items. The turtle and octopus which can swim in the water. But the intersection, the middle part has the common things. Common animals which can do both flying and swimming. So how are Venn diagrams helpful? To compare and contrast the things, sort and classify the objects, visualize similarities and differences. It also helps to develop critical thinking and early logical skills. Can we think where Venn diagrams can be used? Yeah, in math, for example, sorting shapes and numbers. In reading, when you're comparing the characters or stories. In science, for grouping animals, plants, etc. Let's see some more examples, okay? Look at these two cuties. The dog and the cat. Let's say dog. I'll, I bark. I like to fetch. I have fur. Can be pets. Need food and water. And duh, for the cat, it's I meow, I like to climb, I have fur, can be pets, need food and water. How do we represent them in a Venn diagram? First, let's draw a circle for the dog and another circle for the cat. Let's fill all the things which we know about dog. What do we know? Bark, water, pets, like to fetch, fur. And food. Let's do the same thing with cat. What do we know about cat? Meow, like to climb, pets, water, fur, food. Now, finally, when you write the Venn diagram, when you overlap the circles, what was common? Fur, pets, food, water. And what was unique to dog? We have written under the dog, which is bark and like to fetch. And what was unique to cat? We have written exactly under the cat circle, which is meow and like to climb. Let's look at last example here, okay? So let's see. So chocolate and ice cream. 
So what do we have problem here? Chocolate has many flavors. Yummy, bar, brown color. And for ice cream, they, we say it has many flavors. Um, it, uh, it's cold, yummy, needs freezer. So how do we represent in the Venn diagram? Go ahead and pause the video. Think about it. Draw on a piece of paper and then play the video, okay? Did you get it? First, draw two circles. One for chocolate and one for ice cream. And write all the unique things about chocolate in the chocolate circle. Unique things about ice cream in the ice cream circle. And the overlapping circle, the intersection will have common things like yummy, many flavors. So what did we write in chocolate circle? Brown color and bar. What did we write in the ice cream circle? Cold needs freezer. Good job. That's all for today. Kids, see you all in the next video.